Greetings, everyone. We have returned, and it's about time to finish this combat. One way or another, it will be done. Whether or not it's going to be of triumph or tragedy is yet to be decided. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, introduce once again Quilly Team. Hey, folks. And Demonak. Greetings. And the lovely Akis Oh. Oh, she doesn't have her. She doesn't have her earphones. In. Oh. Hello, Akis Hello. 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 Okay. Perfect. Let's go ahead and get some face time again in three, two, one. Faces all around. Alpha Foxtrot with that eight dollar tip. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, let's get started. We are back. Everybody's face is good. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. So. All right. So. It's Eric's very turn. Mm -hmm. Um. Is this is the is that one guy that's left below the shark? Is he uh, hurt at all? Um. The one guy below this. No, that one is still yeah. quite healthy. Okay, I, I, if he was hurt, I'd try and finish him off, but I think I'm going to have to try and help with the croc guy instead then. Okay. I think it's worth it if it's going to take me two attacks. So, all right, so I will just get my broom of power here and try and whack croc rider guy. He's 16. Uh, hit. uh yes, Seems you hit, you, you, hit good. you hit AC, yeah. He's good. Okay, good. Because he has all the offense in the universe. I was hoping he didn't have crazy armor class. So that's uh, that's 13 damage. 13, okay. Uh, he can see you as a reaction. He will have that. So that's going to be 6. Okay, and then make my second attack. And that's a bad roll. I'm going to use the once per day from that pen we got at Christmas to get plus 5 to hit. Oh, that wicked little pen. The pen Sorry, is mightier. Than 14. The <laughs> or whatever you're using. You're using a broom, right? Yeah. The pin is mightier yeah, than the broom. The broom. <laughs> so what does it do? It gives you plus what? Plus five to hit on the one attack once per day. Okay, so easily hits, and then he's going to take 14 this time. He cannot use another reaction, so he takes 14 points of damage. Yeah. Ouch. Okay. Well, doing the best I can. <laughs> Eric did a, a, a very, very large amount of damage. All right, this guy is dead, so they get him out of the turn order. It is now Tao. Tao, you'll go. All right. Well, I'm going to move my, my full move away, which is beyond the edge of the map slightly here. Okay. I'm going to move 30 feet away. Oh, my God. My character's at, literally off the screen. And I can't see her anymore. Mm. I'm, I'm sure that's fine. Oh, wait. I got the edge there. So I'm, I'm further away than this. <laughs> okay. Um, and then I'm going to use my... How many side points do I have left? Like, like people more. in the no, chat can't enough. even see you. You're so far off the screen, the people in chat can't even see you. So I'm going to use a full power side blast to his head. So it's going to be 5d8 plus 2 with no save. I can't, I can't show That people. is a terrible roll. What the hell? That's a, that's pretty impressive, yeah. Oh, um, <sighs> one second. I'll, I'll come and see this roll. What is it? Oh, wow. Yeah, it is pretty bad. So he takes 16 <laughs> points of psychic damage. And then as my bonus action, I'm going to activate my... my I don't remember what it's called. Psychic recovery... Mystic, what do they call it? Mystical Recovery, uh, which allows me to heal one hit point per side point spent. So I'm going to heal five points of damage. Okay, so, so you do 16 points spent. of damage. Yep. And you heal That's for... I heal for five. For heal for five, okay, fine. Yeah, I, I can technically do that every round for free every time I spend power points, except that it takes my bonus action, and I use my bonus action for, you know... Cool oh, stuff. it's just for points spent that round. I thought it was for, like, I thought it was going to do healing, like it was a once per short rest or something. It gave you healing based on how low your pool of power points was. Oh. Uh, no, yeah, no. Your, your version is also interesting, but that would have been yeah, really interesting. After you spend side points on a Psionic Discipline, you can take a bonus action to rain hit points equal to the number of side points you spent. Cool. Yeah. All right, well, um, shit, that really hurts. So it's now, um... Uh, the individual Magic down below you, it's your turn, is going to attack Eric. Yep. Um, so Eric is hopefully going to take... Okay, I hit AC uh, 22. That, that's hits. it. Okay, and uh, there's my D10. There you are. You're wearing armor, obviously, so that's going to be 10 yep. points of damage. Woo! Okay, oh, so minus, minus my armor feet, so that takes exactly takes out all my temporary hit points of 7. Hooray. Well, that's their turn. Fine. They're kind of useless. Anyway. Um, Almost so damage. The, um, the, I, I tell you what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to use the crocodile's maneuver to um, do damage to Eric. And then I'm going to slide over to um, hopefully dismantle Tao's life. 
Um, don't I outrun the crocodile? I thought crocodiles were slow. Um, the, what, what does he move at? He moves at a speed of 30. Actually, I guess you're farther away, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, he started more than 10 feet away, so, yeah. Or I guess he started 10 feet away, exactly. All right. Well, I guess I guess they're going to pour everything into uh, Eric, then. Because there's no sense in uh, oh. Oh. trying hey. to run after somebody who's too far away. Hey. <laughs> Okay, so, um, oh, when you moved away, you were 10 feet away, right? Um, did I get an attack of opportunity for that? Nope. <laughs> Unless he's got deadly reach or whatever it's called. Oh, no, I guess not. Then. Yeah, yeah, threatening reach or threatening reach. I, reach. Threatening I don't reach. remember what it's called. Well, it doesn't say that he does, so I'm going to assume not. Yeah, yeah, um, that's, that is correct. Most most things, even if they have reach, don't have that ability in this. There, if you're for pole arms, there's a feat you can take that gives you that. But... All right. All right, so what we're going to do is, yeah, he's going to turn on you. I just have to figure out specifically if the crocodile is going to attack. What does the crocodile attack with? Do I want him to attack with um, the tail? What does that do? Uh, well, it's really easy to hit. Oh, it's got reach. The tail has reach. Oh, Jesus. I didn't realize that. Um, or, okay, so that's what the tail does. All right, so the tail can do that, and then the bite can do... Oh, that. Okay. Yeah. Um, we are going to bite and then tail, I think. I think I can do both of those. One with its bite and one with its tail. Yeah, I have to do it that way anyway. I can't bite, bite. I have to bite, tail. Okay, that's how it works. All right, so, uh, Eric, your AC is 20, I guess? Yep. Uh, uh, for a 12, which is plus 8, which is 20. Um, yep. So that's going to be the first hit. Second hit is it going to be a okay? Roll a fifteen. So that's definitely two hits. Um, so first things first with the crocodile. The crocodile is going to do the bite damage, which is going to be eight, um, twenty-one plus five, twenty-six points of damage. Ow. Yep. Twenty-three. And now it's going to be his tail. Which is going to do a little, slightly less damage. That is that guy. It's gonna do well, okay. And, <coughs> um is eleven points of damage. Okay. And Take make eight. a DC sixteen strength saving throw or be knocked down. Not prone. Yay. Alright, you made it. Yes. So you're not knocked prone. I'm really good at strength saves. <laughs> okay. That's okay. Wait, that, that's just his turn. Now it's uh, the knight's turn who was going to poke at you with a lance. Oh. I suppose. Uh, his first attack, he rolled a two. So Stop that's poking me! Uh, second attack, I rolled a two. Really? I rolled two twos in a row. Nice. That's fine. That's fine. I'm okay. I'm okay. But you see smiling on us today. <laughs> no, 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 okay, no, 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 we want to try to take this rider alive. Yeah, yeah. You, you just, you still just drop him. You just say that you're try, trying not to kill him on your last hit. Okay, yeah. so I'm gonna try to run. hit him, <laughs> but just skewer his legs to the crocodile or something. Ooh, okay. Can you not? <laughs> okay, so two attacks on the rider. Uh, nice. Uh huh. Ah, crap! Uh, second, and then one does the miss. last one. I know. And then one on the croc. Um, uh, the croc has what AC? I don't know. Um, um, you just hit the croc's AC. All right, so between the two damage that happens, he takes what is that? Twenty four, twenty four points of damage. And what yeah. are you doing? You're 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 doing non uh, non lethal. Well, well, it's the croc uh, it, it doesn't, it doesn't really exist. Me, just but... when you when you do the finishing blow, you just kind of declare basically. All right. Yeah. Well, and that is. She's gonna not kill him, but the damage is the same either way. All right, that that is the finishing yeah. blow then. Um, so you yeah. choose to keep him alive. Yeah. I guess so. Okay. All right, so he goes down, and so does. Hey, he's his got some explaining to do. Crocodilio. Dangerous crocodile. Like but... <laughs> right. So half the time when we're hitting him, we're actually hitting the crocodile and so on. Yeah. 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 yeah basically. It is. It is basically a fight of. Um, that sort of substance. All right, you still got one person left over down here. Yep. Take down this. There it is. 
I'm seeing the champion fall. Good. Should surrender. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Um. Yeah. They are fanatical cultists. They but are. Maybe. Um. I, I say. I tell you what. Um. I'm gonna give because it's Gira's turn. I'm gonna give Gira the chance to intimidate. <laughs> that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> See if you're That's awesome. Lay down your weapons or smooshed like uh uh jam underfoot you'll be. Alright, so he rolls uh based on his what, is, what, is, what does he get? What does he get? His charisma is ten he doesn't get any bonuses. So um he's got a ten, right? And maybe it was the jam. Maybe this guy doesn't care about being jammed. I don't know, but... Uh, oh, um, hold on. Um, charisma minus one, so I do a roll off. Um, uh, okay. No, you know what? I guess, considering everything, all the people that are now dead laying around him, he is, he is not going to attack. Instead, he's going to run away. <laughs> he's running. Okay. Uh, so, Gira... He takes... How are we going to let him... Well, he's gonna run. Um, I suppose I don't know if he can start now. He doesn't start now. Eric gets to go before he gets to start running away. But you can see oh, him turn okay. on you. He's turning around. He's not trying to fight you anymore. Um. Well, I'm gonna try and knock him unconscious, <laughs> and if that doesn't work, I'll try and grab him with my bonus action. Okay. Grab him. Oh, oh! Come on. <laughs> what the hell? Really? With the, with, Sweet. With, the, with the thunderous, like, bam. <laughs> right. So he takes... Just, just downward strike with the broom, and he just goes flat to the ground. <laughs> he is, uh, super bloodied. He's not dead. Oh, no? No, he's okay, not dead. Okay, then I'll, uh, I'll spend a bonus action to try and grapple him. Okay. Oh, oh wow. look at that. There's no way. I rolled a six. Yeah, no. All right, he's grappled. You but beat him over the anywhere. head with a broomstick, and now you just grabbed him and pinned him to the earth. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Hey, stay here a minute. Jesus. All right, Tao. It's safe now. You can come back. Just in case. You know what? He's still grappled. I don't care. Magic missile him to the face. Oh. To kill him? You know, not to kill him. Just, like, bop him in the forehead four times with some magic missiles. <laughs> Okay, to knock is... him out in Eric's hands. <laughs> All right, he is he is so unconscious. This guy's gonna have like two D four so... hours before waking up. This guy is super unconscious. He only had two hit points left. Two acceptable. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, let's go ahead and put him unconscious. Actually, they're both unconscious. Um, the first guy, he is gonna be unconscious for uh, two hours. Oh, actually, it's possible you can only do non-lethal with melee strikes. I think you can't do it with range. I think we discovered that at some point. I was going to say, I mean, this is like Mike Tyson punches to the head right now. Yeah, I, th I think there's something like that. Uh, yeah, it's only with a melee attack can you knock out instead. Okay, so you kill him instead? So, yes, actually. Yep, all right. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, because, yeah, the Widow is, is definitely going to be going to a darker place here. Okay. And that is going to be emphasized by her interrogation of Doofus Face. So does that mean our shark guy is dead then? No. Oh. Um, Instead of he... unconscious? Oh, that, that, that is a good question. Are you going to leave the shark guy alive, or are you going to coup de gras? But... No, I think she's asking that because it was Lasan. If that, we're saying it's only melee, him. I didn't do melee. I hit him with a bow. Oh, right. Yeah, okay, yep. he's dead. Like with an arrow. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. He's dead. Uh, then, Which... then I take back the magic missile. Then. Okay. So he's uh, he's still at two hit points then. Yeah, okay. and and he's grappled. So this guy, yeah, okay. So well, no, I'll run up and punch him, or I'll I'll stab him with my knife. I mean, yeah. non-lethally stab him with my knife. That yeah. Sounds, that sounds like the, the beginning <laughs> of the interrogation. Threaten yeah. to stab him with your life, the knife. <laughs> there you go. I hit him with the butt of my knife in the forehead. Crack. Right. Oh yeah, he's unconscious. <laughs> he's out of it. Hey. Um, you hit him with the forehead of your knife, right in the butt. And I'm going to put him down to zero. <laughs> he is going to be unconscious for ow. Whew. He's going to be unconscious for only one hour. And yeah, it does make sense. The whole like unconsciousness is just a melee thing. No crack. So that yeah. knife is silent. That's right. Kyoko knows. That is the most silent thud you ever heard or didn't hear. Mm -hmm. Actually, I suppose that's true. Yeah. 
I mean, I always like, imagine the blade side, but yeah, of course, the whole knife effect is silenced. Besides the sort of like shudder, <laughs> the, the shudder that go, like radiates through your forearm about how it t you tell that you hit, you hear nothing else, and it's very unsatisfactory. There's no crack. Just like, ah, mm. ah. <laughs> anyway, um, right. So you guys have one prisoner, and that's the end of combat. I guess everybody's done. All right. We okay. survived. You did. <laughs> That is indeed um, uh, chaotic, that. Okay, so you have a survivor, and now uh, we're going to wait an hour, and I don't know, I guess you can do a short rest if you want to. Yeah. We'll loot these guys, we can just... collect all their weird swords, maybe we can sell them back in town or something. Um, yeah, actually, you could try to do that. That. See if, see if and... they have any evidence about the, uh, about the bomb. Those two are for you, Tao. So 24 points of damage back to Tao. Yeah. yeah. And I just did the little. other, but I can use. Oh, I rolled well because it doesn't matter right now. <laughs> that much more for Gira, unfortunately. Before... In an hour, we can do something else, but that's all I can do right now. Okay. That's okay because I can. Oh, wait a minute. Nice. I can do the spells at second level, right? To do yeah, but if we're taking a short rest, we can spend hit. Our own okay. hit dice to heal as well, so I'm fine. All right. Thank you. All right, so poke the stick and investigate. You got a 20, a natural 20 on your investigation. So you're going to find everything there is to find. Um, and no wonder, hold on, it's probably going to be listed. If not listed, I'm going to have to do a rolling on the random, but I'm pretty sure it's listed. That's fine. Actually, you get an extra three, Tao. Oh, yeah, well, I'm, I'm already capped. Okay. Okay. It doesn't matter then. I guess I gets the extra hit dice. On yeah, you got that potion of extra healing power. That's yeah, I forgot that part. Yeah, right. Sagiri um, gets ten instead of seven. Cool. You guys find uh, seven of those, or not seven, eleven of those uh, crazy-looking swords. Mm -hmm. You find eleven uh, normal javelins. Um, you find. A pearl worth a hundred gold pieces on the uh, on the mage there. Mm -hmm. And are you find an identifying something? Maybe, yeah. Um, and uh, in amongst everybody, everybody had. Um, I guess I can average it out. Is what I'm supposed to do. So it'll be one, three, three times mm -hmm. ten. So be 40, 40 gold pieces in amongst everybody. So you got 40 gold total. Okay. Uh, yeah. Any documentation, papers, anything like that? Does a mage not have a spell book? Uh, the mage um, does not have a spell book. Um, okay. But yeah, dark, do they have any documentation, instructions from something? The Dark Knight. Does the Dark Knight have anything? Uh, oh, crocodile no, Okay, so the Dark Knight, the dark knight has... Um, everybody has that insignia of that water, of the water sign that you're, you're understanding. That's the water sign. Everybody has that. Um, the uh, Dark Tide Knight has um, sort of a, a, a metal version of it. Okay. All right. I'll I'll grab it. Okay. Metal, water, cult, insignia. I guess. Yeah. Okay. And that's it. There's like no no evidence of, of any connection to like the bomb thing or anything like that. Um, no. I mean, other than them being here, you can maybe make some connections yourself, but there's no definite connection yet. All right. Max, so, anything. what's gonna happen after our short rest? So an hour goes by. Mm -hmm. That other guy wakes up, right? He does. And yep. what happens is we get that sort of television style scene because Tao is going to be like interrogating him violently Ooh. she's going to be approaching him with a dagger and saying something intimidating about you know making him talk and then it's going to fade to black we're going to go to a commercial break and when we come back it's going to be the guy he's all cut and bloodied and probably dead at this point um and she's just wiping her blade off and you know we we exposit what we learned from the interrogation session okay um Ooh. Very interesting. All right, so that okay, then that's fine. Um, and and like maybe Eric and Lasan are looking a little like queasy about what just happened. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it does seem kind of over the top. 
Um, I will say that uh, you end up getting. Uh, what can I say for the information? Uh, through the Tegori description cut. I like that. Yeah. What you know? What give me a. Um... I know you're rolling, like for interrogation and everything. But give me a persuasion. Well, actually, intimidation. It doesn't matter. Just give me a, a charisma roll of some sort. Mm. Eric, you need a healing too, didn't you? I'll, I'll be oh, trying to. Oh, we, we, when we were resting, I could use hit dice. So, right. like, I healed a little bit and then right. just use those. I'm gonna persuade okay. him. So you're done. Yeah, you're good. yeah you, you totally. In, in fact, um, okay. one of the ways that you ended up doing it is, um, well, I don't know. You, you can say you can you can choose. However, you got this information out of him. You can you can say that it wasn't purely a physical trauma that you were getting this information out. It was almost like by, by sort of uh, giving them hope. You know? Well, that's that's kind of funny because I do get advantage on my persuasion checks <laughs> mm -hmm. from the aura effect of my mantle of joy. So, uh, and there, and you combine it with the fact that I've got sort of cantrips that can inflict brain damage on people. Oh my There's got to be a lot of like mental effects going on here. Wow. To break this person's will. Okay, yeah. This guy's I'm both good cop and bad cop. <laughs> and is he dead? Did you kill him? Yes. Okay. Widow, widow's, widow's going to a dark place here. They they blew up her pie shop and killed Moira, as far as she knows. Yep. So, yes. Okay. So, all right, so he's dead. Um, you do find out, um, the, it gives you rough directions um, on how to find um, the, the, the actual keep that uh, mm -hmm. will lead you into the, the, the area proper. You find out where that is, so you guys won't be stumbling around forever. Um, and he where tells they you he tells you not to um, if you want to sneak into the complex. Um, the best way to sneak into the complex is is actually through the front door, not through um, not through the water, because there's two sides of it. You get an idea that the, the place where you're going is going to be a riverside. Uh -huh. So if you go the river the riverway, um, it's more heavily guarded. Um, but the, the actual front door is not so heavily guarded. So if you want to get in, you can do it that way. Um, and he also recommends, because they know you, um, everybody knows your face now. Uh, or knows your, your actual, they know of you. So there's no sense in trying to bluff your way in. You're going to have to fight your way in. How do they know me and why have they been targeting me? Mm. That's a good question. Um, right, so... Yeah, he, I'm gonna say with his with his dying breath, um, <laughs> it's going to be said. How do I put it so that it makes? I don't want to be vague, but at the very same time, I want to be. I want to make sense, but not too much sense. Yeah. <laughs> um, Excuse me. <laughs> All right, I'll have to roll a con save. Oh damn, I failed my con save. Uh, versus versus burp. Um, what do I do here? I'm going to say that... Dee -dee 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 -dee. Um, alright. Sometimes... Oh, shit. Let's see this. Oh, my God. How do I do this? 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 It's okay. It's building tension. Uh -huh. <laughs> Um, sometimes, sometimes money just gets the better of people. I'm going to say that. And then he just dies. And then he just dies. <laughs> yeah. That, that's pretty much the, it's as cryptic as I can get and without kind of exposing too much. Money gets I can get. better of people. Also, so um, that dwarf that we caught, who was robbing things, was a water cultist. Eh. Doesn't Money feel right, the and and people. I mean, and it doesn't seem to fit the the timing of them targeting me. Mm -mm. Money is well. After we got him and we're heading home. Oh no, because no, because we caught him while this explosion kind of was going on. That was almost like the same night or something. Yeah, yeah, basically. You're tapping on the desk. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. It's like doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, so for the record, I'm no thinking... longer considering the widow to be good anymore. No longer chaotic good. No, I don't so think so. Th things might switch back, but 
she yeah yeah there, there's something else that you uh you notice uh, in terms of uh that that almost i described it to you before almost like a like a like an enveloping feeling of it feels good you know like something something is watching over you like there's something good sort of like there. Uh, yeah it, that is no longer there that that is Ooh. that is gone 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 Ooh. yeah so so yeah. Premi pre uh, uh future premonition stuff you can probably expect not to have um Interestingly enough. Damn. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. You have this premonition that you're going to stop getting premonitions. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly that. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah. So now you guys can you, you can do whatever. You had a short rest. So you end up getting back your hit points to some degree. Um, in terms of um, Gira, did Gira get any healing at all? Yeah, I did. I... Do, do, do. I, I mean, I had put the bandage on him after, and I did a spell. He was... Ten. He got an extra ten. He got an extra ten. Okay, then I can give him his. Uh... And if we're waiting a while for this guy to wake up, I can do another, another healer, bandaging thing on him. Well, it's, when, when we were taking a short rest, you were going to spend his some of his hit dice to gain, you know. Okay. His well, hit if dice he needs eleven, I have eleven. I need to um. I need to figure out the half or uh, half ogre's hit dice again. I forgot. I have to look it up. Well, maybe he's leveling up with us too. So, um, yeah, he, he is slowly. He's he's one level below you guys, specifically. Um, and I rolled a one. Where are you? <laughs> Half ogre is what? Hit dice wise. I oh, it is a d10. I knew it was a d10. Okay, good. So I rolled an eight, and then you get ten, so that's eighteen points of damage back to him. Right? Is that yes. how that works? Yeah, eighteen points of damage. So he's healed for eighteen. So he's got eleven plus eighteen. Mm -hmm. Which leaves him at 29. So he's still bloodied, interestingly enough. Yeah. <sighs> he should, should spend, more, he should spend well, more hit dice when we're short resting then. As I say, when he short rests, you can burn all his hit dice to heal up. Oh. So he's okay. got three hit dice, I think. No. But yeah. if he's one level I mean, below us, he should have four, shouldn't he? I can yeah, spell you guys him are level again. Five. So let me get his hit dice. So that was, uh, that was one. So he's going to get. Oh, another eight. That's good. Uh, three. And three. So you, you're so adding, you added his con bonus each, for each hit die. You're recovering hit points. Right, thank you. Okay, plus <laughs> two. So he's got what he has. So he's 29, he's 31. Plus. Okay, let's go ahead and put him at 31. Plus. <laughs> six, and eight is 14. Yes. So plus 14. Now he's done. Done. Okay, now he's at 45. Oh, he's not bloody. We're good. He's good to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shark Shark to Miss Prime. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you guys are doing what now? Where do you want to go? Do you want to go straight to where um, the threat was uh, supposedly been, or do you want to do a long rest, or do you want to? What do you well, want to... I think I think we're gonna have to do a long rest before we get into a real fight. Mm. Um, I don't know if we want to do anything with the bodies, just leave them on the street, the road, or drag them to the side of the road. I mean, I don't think we're gonna bury all these guys. First of all, they don't right. deserve it. Like Secondly, it sounds like a lot of work. Oh, you guys are level 6, not level 5. That's right. You're right. We are level 6. Not I mean, uh, oh, and sorry. we're about to become 7. So let's get him another... Oh, he has another 3. All right, so he's going to be at uh, 48 then. There we go. And I figure... Um, I figure we should go to this keep that we just found information about. Right. And yeah. in any case, it's probably the right place for us to put a cut here. I think so. Mm -hmm. uh, what yeah. I'll do is I will uh, I will move all of you. Let's see. As I'll move you to where the keep is, unless of course you do want, you want to do something else along the way. I doubt you do though. Um, I think something. I oh, think we keeping we're gonna is need fine. To rest. We're gonna need to long rest to level up, probably. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so okay, that keep we're... is on the river. So that's going to be like up up the larch path and then to the west. Yeah. Okay, I know where this. Yeah, is. and they okay. you know the. You know the proper path. So generally yes. speaking, when you get closer and closer to this place, you're supposed to get more and more encounters, or I have to roll more and more on the encounters. Um, but um, he Spot gives like you because you rolled a twenty. I'm gonna say that you guys can just move straight in there, if you want to, okay. or you can you can pick and choose. You can also just choose to surprise. You can do random attacks or um, the, get the random rolls for who you tend to attack, but you'll get surprise rounds. Or you can just uh, avoid it automatically. 
Can we talk about this next week? Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Okay. So okay. that's going to be good there. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so you guys remember, level up along the way. And uh, we will be back next week, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Yet another uh, bit of Sunday Morning Heroes. Everybody's still alive. Gira looking pretty threatened there, but he's okay. Tao finally got threatened, but, you know, she's okay. Uh, technically okay. She might have had an alignment shift, and uh, she might have lost the blessing of a god. But it's okay. Um, but that's all. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> Um, yeah. Fine. So gonna, everything, is fine. <laughs> everything is fine. Everything is awesome. <laughs> everything is cool when you interrogate someone to death. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, and maybe we can help find uh, well, Lasan's oh. family members there at some point, too. It might happen. Hopefully that you don't find them all dead, you know, somewhere, like, drowned or something. That would be terrible, wouldn't it? Oh, that would be so... Bad. Well, they wouldn't... Ho hopefully for our enemies. Yeah. <laughs> Um, right, so uh, just so everybody knows, this bringing the end to the stream and everything, but uh, before we go, uh, I want to mention that Kiss for Luck, is, are, you, are you streaming today? City Skylines in 30 minutes, yep. Okay, City Skylines nice. in 30 minutes, so that's awesome. And until next time, Quill, where can people find you? You guys can find me as Quill18 everywhere on YouTube, on Twitch, and on Twitter. Perfect. And Demonac, where can people find you? You can find links to all my social media videos, my my ancient D&D webcomic and all that stuff at www.demonac.com. And, of course, details from my D&D campaign at youtube.com slash demonac. It is worth reiterating, if you want more D&D, &D, that is indeed the place to go. There's lots of it. Lots and lots and lots it's of it. It's good. It's so good. Um, and, of course, A Kiss for Luck, where can people find you? Everywhere. A Kiss for Luck. Social media, YouTube, all the places. And as a matter of fact, I suppose you can know you, know you can find me here at Briarstone um, or twitch.tv forward slash Briarstone or on YouTube. You can find, if you're here on Twitch right now, you can scroll down you just click that YouTube link. Hit subscribe and I'll see you then. Um, tons of stuff over there. Lots of content. If you want to see more of myself and my stupidity, it's there. Um, and yeah, He's we're going to <laughs> take off, I guess. Uh, have a good day. Have a good evening, everybody. We'll mm -hmm. See you later. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye. It was fun. Bye. -bye. There are tons of Let's Plays on all my friends' awesome YouTube channels. And if you want even more concentrated D&D goodness, check out Tales from My D&D Campaign.